The power of dreams is an important theme that runs throughout BFG. The dream cavern, including BFG's workshop, is the central environment of the film and houses some 1,000 jars and 700 dreams. The dream cavern had to be built to support close-up detail at three different scales. Full-size giants at 48 feet, BFG at 24, you has a bean, and Sophie at four feet, frequently handing off between plate and CG Sophie. Way the delicious little chat bag. We worked with Steven Spielberg to develop the lighting design and set build in order to strategically place dream jars to use them as the primary light source. Artists could control their glow in order to alter the mood, as well as control the density of the smoked up atmosphere to give a homey, slightly magical look. Artists previewed their lighting in real time before generating final passes with their offline renderer, Manuka. During the destructive search for Sophie, key dream jars were earmarked to survive in order to continue to light the environment. The glow of the furnace and small ground fires were also designed to enhance the warm, lonely tone that ends the scene. Even with a well-planned setup, Sophie's lighting didn't always work for the BFG due to his scale. To One way we solved this was the placement of larger light sources in the cavern. An individual dream jar or the street lamp on the table would light Sophie, whereas for BFG would use a whole shelf of dream jars or a larger light source like the furnace. It was important that audiences connect and care about the BFG's workshop. Its destruction at the hands of the giants is the galvanizing force for the third act and the final step in BFG's transition as a character. What be your pleasure, Missy? Make them all happy. Here's it, Gulpa! Go long! Effects played a central role in the realization of the open fields of Giant Country. Working closely with the layout and models team, a procedural workflow was created to add a huge amount of detail to the vast, grassy terrain. We used the shearing of instances for wind animation and only swapped to hero elements when simulating interaction with characters. The visual development of the dreams is one of the most important creative opportunities in the film. They needed to be fluid, complex, and colorful, and have the ability to emit enough energy to serve as the primary light source for the dream cavern. Each one had to capture the fleeting nature of dreams. Effects and animation artists developed compelling imagery that suggested narrative without ever becoming too figurative, allowing the audience to connect to the individual stories without feeling like they had to fully understand them. We built a procedural rig comprising light-emitting volumetric simulations and twinkling particle systems that reinforced and reacted to the animation content of each dream. Additionally, the rigs were adapted to enable swarming in great numbers in order to interact with the characters and light the environment. For the sluice, we initially ran a low-res sim that roughly matched the blocking animation of Sophie and used various methods of boundary conditions to adjust the flow and height of our fluid sims to support the animation style and shot camera. We used velocity from the water to drive Sophie's cloth simulations and ran high-resolution guide sims and splash and foam passes based on the revised bakes of Sophie and our initial low-res simulations. how the skin slides and wrinkles, like the way he reveals all of his crooked teeth when he smiles. I is always hungry. Bean. In order to create the individual face shapes and ultimately the combinations that form expressions and dialogue, a shape generation rig was created with an articulating mandible and collision objects. This ensured volume preservation and interacted with various deformation tools to ensure proper skin sliding. But the inside is smelly something. Sweetly familiar. Using scans and motion capture footage as reference, the models team worked with animation to further mirror the actors' expressions as flesh lump eaters' scenes came to life. 
For this extreme close-up, we produced a special high-resolution sculpt around the eye. Multiple looks had to be created for Flesh Lump Eater based on shot requirements. To define his skin, layers of displacement textures were painted with microscopic levels of detail, sometimes smaller than skin pores. Special attention was paid to his face, hands and feet in order to sell his extraordinary scale in relation to the other characters. More than 100 texture channels were created to achieve his final look. Displacement was dynamically driven depending on skin tension, so the skin was smoother when stretched and more wrinkled when compressed. These controls were also used for blood flow, so knuckles would be whiter and cheeks more red depending on the pose. You are a very bad giant. Oh, has no regrets. The BFG is a children's story about the power of dreams and how they connect us with each other. The film follows a young orphan named Sophie, played by actress Ruby Barnhill, and the unlikely friendship she forms with the big friendly giant, Oscar winner Mark Rylance. The friendship is so important to the story that the whole approach to the production of the film was focused on making that bond believable. The other giants, are they nice? Like you're nice. No, I was sorry to say the boys would eat you up in one dollop. A unique shooting plan and methodology was developed in collaboration with director Steven Spielberg, production designer Rick Carter, and the production and visual effects teams. Is your high runs? The goal was to embed the visual effects process into the on-set workflow and execute it side by side with the principal photography. A new kind of motion capture volume called Moody Mocap was created with texture and terrain, low lighting, and complex props to more closely approximate a full production shoot. Using a simulcam setup, CG elements, including live motion capture or simulcap, were piped into the camera in real time so operators could react and frame for moving giants and CG sets while shooting the plates. Um. Virtual cameras allowed Mr. Spielberg to get his CG shots right alongside the live action. The mocap captured during the shoot was transferred into a space called the V-cam tent. Here, Steven was able to explore and shoot his CG cameras often choosing his takes within 20 minutes. His selects were fed into the on-set editorial team to inform the edit as well as the following day's live action shoot. This meant by the end of principal photography, almost all cameras for CG shots were captured. Does you have a new little pussy poo? Flesh Lump Eater is the film's main bad guy played by Jermaine Clement. In order to help bring Jermaine's unique qualities to the character, his features and subtle facial expressions were incorporated into the hero model as the facial puppet was developed. Due to his enormous size, managing detail at different distances from camera was a key concern, and over 100 texture channels were created. For the BFG, animators manipulated a facial model with over 1,000 blend shapes to recreate even the tiniest nuances of Mark Rylance's performance. So you're going to stay in a nice, safe place right here. Mark played the BFG with a lot of inner conflict showing on his face. Even his more joyful moments were often tinged with sadness or melancholy and a certain world weariness. Truth to tell, just a dribble of despair. Elements from blue screen sets were incorporated into the beautiful giant country and the even more magical dream country with its flitting dreams and incandescent sky. Our Manuka renderer helped us create very subtle natural light effects throughout the film. The dream cavern is lit by hundreds of dreams in jars. Artists could control their glow in order to alter the mood, as well as control the density of the smoked up atmosphere to give the cavern a homey, slightly magical look. For the dreams themselves, we built a procedural rig comprised of light emitting volumetric simulations and twinkling particle systems that reinforced and reacted to the animation content of each dream. Artists developed compelling imagery that suggested narrative without ever becoming too figurative allowing the audience to connect to the individual stories without feeling like they had to fully understand them. Despite its inherent storybook qualities, the BFG is a film of small moments. Forging the film as one visual effects live action team on set with a single integrated workflow meant the spark the actors created under the guidance of the director was faithfully transferred to the big screen. It be time BFG.